تحفي يمضي موكب النور تتالى اقتسم واستقال ودور الامجاد طال ما تولى ما تولى بديلا نفسا وملا it's true, you can be killed for blasphemy in Islam, and as you can see, they're very proud of it. The Hanbali school of jurisprudence views blasphemy as synonymous with apostasy, punishable by death. The Maliki view blasphemy as an offense more severe than apostasy, with death being mandatory and no acceptance of repentance for men. The Hanbali also view blasphemy as more severe than apostasy, with death being mandatory for both men and women, with no chance for repentance. The Shafi view it as punishable by death as well, but do accept repentance of blasphemers. The Jafari, which are Shia, view it as punishable by death. If the blasphemer is a Muslim, if it is a non-Muslim, they are given a chance to convert or be killed. Where do these Islamic schools of jurisprudence derive their laws from, you ask? The Quran and the Hadiths. Let's take a look at one of these Hadiths. This is Sunnah Nabi Dawood 4361. A blind man had a slave mother who used to abuse the Prophet and disparage him. In other words, she would talk trash about it. So he took a dagger, placed it on her belly, pressed it, and killed her. A child who came between her legs was smeared with the blood that was there. So the morning comes and the prophet is notified of this event, and here is the last part of their dialogue. Last night she began to abuse and disparage you, so I took a dagger, put it on her belly, and pressed it till I killed her. Thereupon the prophet said, O be witness, no retaliation is payable for her blood. Here is a quote from renowned Islamic scholar Ibn Kathir. Any Muslim who blasphemed against Allah or his messenger, or blasphemed against anyone from amongst the prophets is thereby guilty of rejecting the truth of the messenger of God. This is apostasy for which repentance is necessary. If he repents, he is released. If not, then he is killed. According to Ibn Kathir, this ruling applies to the blasphemy of other prophets like Jesus, yet you don't see Muslims defending Jesus. As a matter of fact, the ones I see blaspheming our Lord the most are Muslims. Our Lord Jesus hanging on the cross enduring mockery and insults says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. The contrast between Islam and Christianity is evident in these words. Muhammad in the face of insult promotes violence and death, while Christ in the midst of suffering and blasphemy embodies forgiveness.